Eat my shorts. No problemo. Bye, What's up, Cereal Heads? Today we're gonna talk about Bart Simpson's No Problemos and Bart Simpson's Eat My Shorts cereal. Now, you might have seen me cover other Simpsons cereals in older videos. There was Bart Simpson's Peanut Butter and Chocolate Crunch, Homer's Cinnamon Donut cereal, and of course, Krusty O's, which was just the novelty version of the cereal from the show. But all of those cereals were released here in the US. Whereas these two that we're gonna talk about today came out in the UK, which is why they might not look familiar to some of you. First up, let's start with Bart Simpson's No Problemos. So this cereal was released by Kellogg's back in 2002. You can see Bart and Homer here on the box, and the cereal is Frosted Multigrain Loops with Mini Chocolatey Biscuits. And judging from the box here, it looks like those wafers or cookies or biscuits have white etchings of Simpsons characters on them. Now I'm willing to bet when we open this stuff and take a look, the etchings on those biscuits there, they'll probably be non-existent at this point. But also, I was surprised to find out this cereal actually had a commercial. It's kind of bland and generic, but still, take a look. New from Kellogg's, no problemos. Yummy loops and chocolatey biscuits do anything to get your hands on them. New Bart Simpson's no problemos. There's a bit of Bart in every box. Now on the side of this box here, you can see they have a little promo for Simpsons Road Rage. That was a video game that came out in 2001 by EA for PlayStation 2 and Xbox. I remember playing this game back in the day. You basically just drove around and dropped off Simpsons characters at different destinations. But you could unlock different characters and cars and other stuff. It was a fun game, but it's definitely dated now. Anyway, the back of this box here features the Simpsons fridge, and it has a bunch of fun little Simpsons references. There are report cards for Lisa and Bart, a letter from Mrs. Krabappel, a Camp Krusty brochure, and then a small little word search stuck amongst all the other little Easter eggs. All right, let's open up this cereal and take a look. So here's what a bowl of this Bart Simpson's No Problemos look like. You can see the frosted multigrain loops. They're bigger than Cheerios. They're more like plain Fruit Loops. And check out the chocolate biscuits there. I was totally wrong about these. 15 years later, and you can still make out the Simpsons characters on them. Let's take a closer look at some of these chocolate biscuits. There's Homer, Marge, Bart, Lisa, Maggie, and then they have a few other characters in here like Krusty and Moe, and I think I saw Itchy and Scratchy. I feel like I should try this biscuit, right? Maybe just a little bite? I feel like I'm definitely gonna regret this. Oh, oh that's terrible. Anyway, moving on, let's take a look at Bart Simpson's Eat My Shorts cereal. This cereal was released by Kellogg's the following year in 2003. Now, Eat My Shorts was one of Bart's earlier catchphrases along with Don't Have a Cow Man, I Caramba, Get Bent. Anyway, you can see here this cereal is Frosted Golden Syrup Flavored Multigrain Shorts. Now, golden syrup isn't a huge staple here in the US. It's kind of like a light molasses. I'm sure someone from the UK will call me on that and correct me, but whatever, that's my frame of reference. And you can see right here, this cereal does look like little shorts. So after you pour yourself a bowl of this stuff, you will actually be eating his shorts. Let's take a look at the back of the box here. This one is better than the No Problemos box. They have a version of the Springfield Shopper, the local newspaper for the town. They have these fun little headlines about the Springfield power plant and Principal Skinner changing his phone number. They have an event calendar here from Mrs. Krabappel. A few classified ads down here, including one for dancing Homer swag, which is a reference to a season two episode about Homer becoming the mascot for the Springfield Isotopes. And then they have a word search and a word scramble with the answers to both inside the box. You also might remember that this is the exact same back that the Homer Cinnamon Donut cereal had. So Kellogg's just recycled this Springfield shopper for their UK cereal too. Let's open up this cereal and take a look. So here's what a bowl of Bart Simpson's Eat My Shorts looks like. You can see the pieces are still a golden yellowish color. I guess they kind of resemble shorts. Though if I didn't know what they're supposed to be, I'm not sure I'd be able to guess. And this stuff has a maple syrupy scent to it. It almost smells a bit like waffle crisp. Now I'm not gonna eat this 15 year old cereal because, well, because it's gross. If you get enjoyment from watching me suffer through eating an old Simpson cereal, well, go watch that Bart's Peanut Butter and Chocolate Crunch video. Ooh, I can still taste that one. And here inside the box, you can see they have the answers to the word scramble and word search on the back. Unfortunately, there was no prizes in either of these boxes, but let's pretend they did have prizes inside. I have this unopened pack of Simpsons trading cards from Topps. These are from 1990, so I'm sure the animation on the cards here will resemble how they looked in the first season. It says eight dynamic cards and one crummy sticker. Let's open it up and take a look. So there's the one crummy sticker. You can see it's just barred at the chalkboard. Let's go through the rest of these and take a quick look. So you can see these cards aren't really anything special. They're just the frame of a television with screen caps from episodes from the first season. There's Maggie, Lisa, Bart, Homer, Marge, they're all there. The back of the cards have portions of a picture on it. 
When you collect all of them, you can put together a little puzzle and then the portrait looks like this. It's all a bit underwhelming, but hey, those were trading cards in the 90s. And I'd rather get a pack of those than nothing inside a cereal box. All right, well, that's gonna do it for these two UK Simpsons themed cereals. Even though the show isn't popular as it once was, I really wish someone would make another Simpsons themed cereal. The characters are classic and memorable. I mean, they still have a whole entire land dedicated to them at Universal Studios, so they must have some fan base. I'm sure people would still buy Simpsons cereals, but as long as Kellogg still owns the licensing, I'm sure they'll never make another Simpsons cereal. Oh well, I think I'm gonna go watch some old Simpsons episodes. As always, thank you for watching, and until next time, stay crunchy. I know I have Lisa around here somewhere. Cereal time. Cereal time.